on Monday, March 22nd, 2023. I'll hereby call the special meeting of the Gardner School Committee to order. And I have, Mark, are you calling the roll on this one? Uh, oh yeah, sure. Um, so, so I'm just going to go in order with the screen. Bob Schwartz. Present. Rachel Cormier. Present. Ann Hurst. Present. Shannon Ward, Shannon Ward Leitman. Present. Um, Jen, Jennifer Palavin. Present. John Lafreniere is absent. And that's it, right? Oh, and Mike, of course. Uh, Mike Nich yeah. Nicholson, Chairman. I'm present too. Thank you. Uh, first item on the agenda is new business: the food service management company contract. Okay, Mark, you want to talk for a minute on this? Uh, yes, we are required to go out to um, bid every five years. It's a odd 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 um happenstance it is a technical five-year contract that we do one year at a time and they give us a a guaranteed number at the end of the contract whether it's a, a guaranteed loss no greater than or a great and guaranteed um surplus no greater than or a break even um so this year we was the end of the five-year contract with uh Whitson's we went out to bid uh we went and put an RFP out rather which is a request for proposals um the three principals Paula Bulger from the high school Earl Martin from the elementary school and Art Murphy from the middle school made up our committee to review the proposals and did a ranking this is all uh, very much prescribed by Desi um at the end of the ranking they came up with Fresh Picks Cafe being the um the highest ranked one and uh, the reasoning they basically all agreed on was um, the menus if you looked at the RFP there's a lot of the criteria is sort of set in stone so if you have more than 10 years experience that's highly advantageous well all three companies did if you have um, so many other things and it's there's very little subjectivity to it all um, so it was a uh, by unanimous consent that the principals picked Fresh Picks Cafe. Uh, the next step in the process to have the um, presented to the school committee, have you vote um, and approve it. Oh, I should also add after they did that, uh, Mark, uh, myself, Dr. Pellegrino and uh, Josh Cormier, Director of Purchasing, sat down to review the financial proposals. Um, all three financial proposals were fairly similar. Um, one was a little higher than uh, the other. Fresh Picks was right in the middle. Uh, I reviewed all the numbers. They, they're all kosher. Um, so there's really nothing to disagree with there. So the next step in the process is for the school committee to um, approve the, uh, I guess, the the awarding of the contract to Fresh Picks Cafe. Um, then we send the unsigned contract off to Desi for their blessing. And then we can actually go through the process of actually signing the contract with Fresh Picks. And all this has to be done um as the contract ends june 30th along with the end of school and then our summer program doesn't start until all the way on july 3rd so there's two days in between both weekend days for um a whole switch over to occur should be a piece of cake is there a motion to approve the contract so moved second Motion made by Attorney Blavin, second by Mr. Schwartz, to approve the contract as Director Hawk has presented. Is there any discussion on the motion? Mr. Hawk, uh, you said all the proposals financially were similar, but if we're going to vote, I'd like to know what that figure is. What from all three? Well, the the financials are um, confidential, but uh, the winning proposal has a surplus of 277,000, I believe, because that would be on the uh, 277.655. That will be on the contract. Um, like I said, the others were not really that far off, a little higher, a little lower, but um, all the financials are confidential, which is why they are separate from the uh, RFP product themselves. 
And I also would have liked to have the school committee more participation in the review process. I read the DESE document, and it just, just seems like they're taking things away from our responsibility. So I'm really concerned about that. So, and I understand we're up against the wall. And uh, I would have liked, I did ask the, the superintendent's office to try to get the principals involved so we can get at least some voicing from the principals as to why they selected. And I guess they were not available to do that. So I'm I'm really disturbed about the way we're we're going through this. We're up, like I said, our backs against the wall. We have to get it done, and we're we're not participating the way I think the school committee should be participating in the selection of a major vendor. That's my two cents. Mr. Schwartz, I could add that when I asked the uh, Desi why the school committee has to vote on this they couldn't give me an answer because it's the mayor yeah. the one that's going to sign the contract so yeah, but there's a lot wrong with this process i i don't disagree yeah, i read the 116 pages yes it, it is kind of screwed up my two cents that's it is there any other discussion on the motion on the floor Seeing none, we'll put the matter to a vote. Dr. Pellegrino, can you call the roll? Yes. Um, Bob Schwartz? Yes. Rachel Cormier? Yes. Ann Hurst? Yes. Shannon Ward Layton? Yes. Um, Jen Jennifer Palabin? Yes. Michael Nicholson? Yes. Unanimous vote. Motion carries. There is no other items on the agenda this evening. So with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. To adjourn. Seconded. Motion made by Mr. Schwartz, seconded by Attorney Palavin to adjourn. Uh, per the remote meeting one, this does, uh, the remote meeting law extension, this does not have to be a roll call for adjournment. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.